Hey, what's up everybody? It's Stephen A. Williams, president and founder of the creditrepairshop.com and I wanted to talk about the lawsuits with uh, number one with Santander. That one is still actually working its way through the pipeline. There were some people that had just got their uh, settlement checks and this I thought that this was all done done and over with but people are still getting notified of settlement checks. People are also still finding out that they had, they removed information off their credit reports, but they had sold that debt to a debt collector. If you have, uh, if you know that you were included in the Santander settlement and a debt collector is coming after you for that repo debt, they were supposed to send that back. Don't let them fool you saying that they don't have to send that back, that it wasn't included. You want to get it in writing from them that they know and make them also get it from Santander and you send a certified letter to Santander's legal department asking to make sure that the debt that you had from a repo during that time period of the uh, settlement, uh, which was uh, 2010 to 2019, that you were not included. That's a lot of people. Uh, a lot of people got repoed back at that time. And for you not to be included in that settlement, uh, I know that it was only 34 states, but it, it, it would be highly unlikely. So you, if you made payments to a debt collector and it was included in the settlement, you need to, you, you also need to request that they give you all of those payments back. They have to do that. They cannot keep the payments at that time just because they didn't know at the time that your uh, 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 account was going to be included. They had to get their money back from Santander directly. Now, I want to talk about the uh, uh, credit acceptance uh, settlements. Those are have worked its way through in certain in in one state. Massachusetts was the big one, and it looks like the Massachusetts Attorney General has been on it because they've also settled with uh, they settled with Santander, they settled with Extern Finance, Credit Acceptance, and West Lake Finance. So you're talking about uh, uh, all of these subprime lenders. Uh, basically doing the same thing that Santander was doing, and they ended up uh, making settlements in uh, Massachusetts. I'm pretty sure that this will also start to work its way through with other states, uh, because what, one thing that I've noticed is that when one state, when they settle with one state, even if they don't admit wrongdoing, the same thing that they that they claim in that lawsuit that in in for them doing the settlement it would carry over to the other states it's going to be just like if we find a certain amount of people who have this same problem that you had with uh santander same problem with extern uh finance westlake finance credit acceptance that uh, they will end up uh doing settlements in other states but you have to make your complaint to the attorney generals they will not do it for just one person. They will not do it for 10 people. They may not even do it if it's only like uh, 500 or 1,000 people. It has to be a lot of people to be considered a class action, something that's worth it for them to do it for their office, and then also something that's uh, you know going to put, put enough attention on the uh, subprime lender to where they're going to want to uh, have to do something about it. So uh, the updates that I have right now, which is, I wish I had more on it, but I am doing more research is that Massachusetts has been very active on settling with the uh, sub with the subprime auto lenders. Uh, they've done uh, Westlake, Credit Acceptance, Extern, and Santander. So if you were with any one of those and you feel that you were taken advantage of, that the down payments were uh, not uh, what they were supposed to be. Like they said here, borrow, they, borrowers experience harm and in some instances lost their vehicle or down payments uh, from the from the way that they had wrote those contracts. They also had uh, high interest rates. Also, there was fraud on the applications about the income, all types of things. So you should, uh, if you felt that the way that the the uh, these companies dealt with you uh, and you lost your vehicle, you need to file a complaint with your state attorney general's office and at least get it 
uh, notated so when they start to go after the companies I'm pretty sure that in, in a lot of the states that they dealt with they're gonna start looking at this because that's just the way that they do it uh, you want to make sure that your name is included in that uh, in that uh, class action lawsuit all right uh, this is Stephen A Williams president and founder of the credit repair shop Dot com just wanted to give you a quick update a lot of people have been asking about these subprime uh, uh, auto loan uh, uh, class action lawsuits thanks a lot